Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and today I'm very excited to have Devij Hemrajani uh, back here in Dallas uh, visiting the office. We're going to talk a little bit about dressing smart casual. Uh, so I just got back from a trip to Cabo uh, where I took all of my linen shirts and some new shorts that uh, Devij just made for me. Uh, and I can't tell you how many compliments I got. Uh, it really has me looking forward to summer. Uh, so I thought today uh, we'd uh, talk with Devij a little bit about what's going on with him and then dive into the topic of just dressing casually but in a tailored way. So, hey, David, hey, thank you so much for coming right. to Dallas. Great. great to see you. Pleasure to be here. And uh, so how's everything going? It's been a long year for all of us, but it's great to see you traveling. Yeah, it's uh, great to be back and in the movement of uh, things swinging back to uh, positive, normal directions. The last time I saw you was towards the end of 2020. I think you were here kind of passing through briefly in December. Yes. But I know that some exciting things have kind of happened since then. So yes. why don't you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, I've started uh, my own... A bespoke operation now. It's a kind of a more unique, different approach to what you would say is a traditional bespoke house. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're kind of bridging the gap and union between, you know, traditional artisan clothing uh, with a more modern, contemporary designer, such as from myself. Mm -hmm. So, this is going to bring on, you know, still the handwork that you see in a bespoke uh, tailoring shop. Yeah. Uh, but with m now more of a international cut. Yeah. So I know one of the things that I've seen uh, kind of with you, you know, as we've been working, you've made, I mean, everything I'm wearing today, this beautiful jacket, dorme fabric, uh, and these cotton trousers, which I love. And the Hammer Johnnies have really, for the longest time, especially whenever I started working uh, with your father, Joe, were focusing just on shirts. But kind of whenever you came in, one of the things that you really kind of pushed the business was towards this direction of really true kind of true bespoke or artisanship bespoke. Right, for those who don't know, there's a difference between a made to measure and a bespoke garment. The main difference, made to measure, is basically made on a CAD pattern, computer aided design, where bespoke is, as you know, it has all handwork. So this really emulates the feel and the elegance of a bespoke garment that you can't get on a factory-made garment. Factory. And then you're also introducing kind of fittings also. Right? Yes, we do first fitting for basted, basted uh, customers that opt for a basted fitting. Yeah, which again is kind of bridging that gap and allowing, you know, a little bit more kind of pattern modification uh, and adjustment beyond the measurements in the finished garment. Correct, more detail, more finishing on the end garment. Sometimes fabric to fabric is different. Yeah. And if the style is different, double breasted, single breasted, top coat, uh, this also is great to do a basted fitting. Yeah. Over. Yeah. And because of the fabric, I mean, every fabric is going to react differently. Right. Yeah. Right. So uh, this outfit I'm wearing today, again, you know, you made this up for me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, the weather is really shifting here in Dallas, as uh, you probably have already noticed. Mm -hmm. And so I find myself, you know, as we're beginning to be able to travel again, really getting excited about summer. Yeah. And so this was a project that we worked on, I guess, last year was kind of building out the uh, seasonal right. wardrobe, kind of the spring-summer seasonal wardrobe of mine. Right. And so we actually have a video on the channel uh, that you can take a look where we actually go through some of the deliveries uh, that we did uh, for the spring-summer uh, items, such as this jacket uh, and these, uh, these trousers, which, you know, I absolutely love. And so I just wanted to kind of talk through some of these pieces but then more specifically even look towards kind of some of the summer stuff uh, that you've made talk about that what i enjoy about it and then see what we might uh, add to kind of fill in and round that out because i'm really looking forward to getting out of dallas this summer so but first i mean these are simple khaki trousers right they're chinos 100 percent cotton right cut high with braces uh, so they're really, I mean, they're very comfortable. They're loose in the waist, which they should be for cut with braces. Uh, single pleats, you know, two inch cuff. And I find myself really drawn towards these as an alternative to just wearing denim on the weekend. Yes, breathes more, feels soft, still has the same comfort like your trousers that we make for you, but adds that casual, softer look to the, than the pant, than being so straight, so yeah. sharp as a trouser. Yeah. And this jacket also has a beautiful texture. Yeah. Well, this is a dorme fabric, and this is, I think, a linen wool silk or wool linen silk. Wool linen silk, silk yes. Um, and again, great texture, very lightweight, and it has all those hallmarks of kind of a great odd jacket, the texture, uh, and then kind of a, a, a summer, spring-summer odd jacket because it's lightweight. 
uh, but it still kind of holds its shape great, which is a testament to the tailoring. You can see the slubbing in the from the linen, which yeah. adds that like softer look to it. Not so refined, mm -hmm. but welcoming in the with the brown. Yeah, with it. the visual texture and then my new favorite kind of sovereign gray tie with this jacket, kind of the brown. Uh, this is a brown ancient matter, you know, with the brown kind of window pane here. I think it you know, really works Very beautifully. Cool. Yeah. So you made another pair of trousers for me that I've really enjoyed also. That um, you know, again, another alternative to wearing a pair of jeans. I find myself uh, wearing these trousers more often as opposed to denim uh, on the weekend than I thought I would. And so let's talk a little bit about that because normally, you know, especially on this channel, we focus so much on dressing formally. Yes. Right? But what about dressing casually? And if you're not going to wear jeans, you know, what do you wear? Right. A lot to do is correct with the cloth itself. So when you have that heavier weighted cotton, you still get the drape that you like. Not as crushed as this, mm -hmm. but the feel like you're wearing jeans cut like trousers. Yeah. And so you actually kind of have this book, uh, we set it aside, but I was a little bit surprised because we were talking through the fabric that you actually said this particular fabric was a 100% cotton denim. Denim, right. Cut like trousers. Right, heavy cotton twill. Yeah. So it has the, it has the weight like, like denim, but in a softer tan. This is the one we made here. Yeah, so this is beautiful. So this, and then I dry cleaned it, it lightened up maybe a little bit even more, but it almost has a cavalry twill kind of look to it because it's a real heavy twill. Right. Right. It's definitely a casual uh, right. trouser, uh, but it's 280 grams. I mean, right. it has that strength and that structure. So you'd recommend maybe kind of going, maybe adding us, because I'd love to have a second pair because I send those off to the dry cleaners. Yeah, I love this. I'm uh, missing something. Olive. The olive. Okay. Well, that's definitely something I want to write down. What's it's it? more natural colors suit you better than the, I think, than the traditional, you know, denim. So let me show you a few of the shorts, and we've got some photographs of me wearing these in Cabo. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit about kind of my favorite outfit I had while I was there, which is a combination of um, some of these uh, short, and they're really kind of trouser shorts, right? Because they're cut like trousers, or made like trousers. Uh, and then one of my favorite, all-time favorite linen shirts. So first we'll pull the shirt out. So this is something, you know, that you did for me a long time ago. Uh, I've had this for years. I think I maybe even have a second one. And I want to talk to you about maybe doing a third. Uh, but this is just the absolutely most beautiful blue, 100% linen. But it's the David John Anderson linen, which is uh, out of the Albini's group, highest end range of linen. 130s. And it's like the most amazing soft shirt, linen shirt I've ever worn in my life. It, 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 it almost feels and drapes like cotton. It's so fine. But it has that light open weave of linen. Absolutely incredible. So this one, it's kind of pulling a little bit and kind of starting to open kind of a little bit at the button. You know, it's maybe a sign of the times. And so I was thinking about having that made again, but maybe with a little bit more in the body of the shirt uh, so that it doesn't kind of pull open. Sure. Yeah, white or blue, beautiful both ways. Well, the blue is my favorite. And then probably my favorite kind of pair of uh, shorts was, you know, this beautiful kind of a cream wool. So this is one of the things that you suggested to me that maybe I was a little bit uh, a little bit reluctant of. But then, you know, I was wearing these, you know, with that linen shirt and a nice kind of Optimo, a Mylan hat. Yep. And it just, I mean, it really came together so beautifully. Yes, yeah, perfect for resort, evening, just relax. Yeah, casual. warm to dinner. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then two other pairs that, again, I just wanted to show. So that I'm really, I haven't had really much of a chance to wear these yet because it's just now warming up here in Dallas. But 100% linen right, in kind of a natural. Yeah, this you'll wear more in the day, I think. Yeah, daytime. And then this, again, maybe kind of formal daytime, but is 100% cotton, but a heavyweight cotton, right, so it still holds its crease. So I'll just pull these off the hanger to kind of take a look at, and I'm using our clamping trouser hanger, which is actually great for shorts. Now talk a little bit about how you make these, because it's not a traditional short, it's smart casual, it's not a, you know, pair of cargo shorts, right, you know, that you bought at, uh, you know, the gap, I mean, it still has a sophisticated kind of casual look to it. Right, still a slightly collegiate mm -hmm. kind of look to it, and it's uh, still have the side tab, so you have the uh, flexibility and comfort when you sit down, mm -hmm. Not no pressure from the belt. Uh, and then this one has some very fun, in, you know, so you still want to have some fun with shorts, right? Yeah. So this, we did the pocketing uh, from like a cotton shirt, yeah. which adds a little kind of yeah, elegance fair. when yeah. you take it off and put yeah. it on. And again, it has a fully kind of built out waistband, 
So it's not, again, it's not like a traditional pair of shorts that just have a small waistband. Right. It's got the small little, uh, it's a larger V cut. This the emphasis here is for comfort. Mm -hmm. You want you don't want to wear something that's meant to kept on all day, and you don't want to feel too much pressure on the yep. waist. So this kind of this small V gives you kind of relieves a little pressure when you sit, yeah, yeah, at the waist. Well, it's really beautiful, and then we did it with again. You know, what is this? A two inch, two inch wider cuffs. cuffs. It's, yeah, it's a little bit broader. I think it makes a nice statement. Statement, you know? exactly, exactly. You know, I wear these. People don't really know what to think, and I like that because you know it's again. A simple pair of shorts, right. but you know the sophistication of these is really uh, on a totally different level. Yeah, this is best in pockets here too. In yeah, best in pockets, yeah, uh, and you know, I mean, the buttonholes are still by hand, right? So some, you know, special details, but yeah. it looks beautiful. But it's all the details that, again, you would put in one of your bespoke pair of trousers, right? But in a pair of shorts, right? So the sum of these details is what makes the garment yeah. special. Remind me, kind of, what the price is on a pair of trousers like this? About. Three to four hundred, depending on the fabric. Sometimes okay. cotton can go up from there, but mm -hmm. about that price range. Yeah, which you know is, you know, maybe more. Most people are uh, used to spending on shorts that you could buy at you know, Banana Republic for sixty bucks. But I mean, this is a whole separate level in terms of just how they look on and the sophistication. I have to say, I've kind of fallen in love with these. So I want to talk about you know another shirt and that DJ. Uh, just incredible linen, 100% linen fabric, and then adding, I don't know, maybe one or two more pairs of shorts to kind of round out that kind of, that summer wardrobe, if you will, of kind of smart casual. Sure. So, can we take a look at some fabrics? Sure, great. One of the books I like the most is the W. Bill Irish Linen. Okay. Uh, it's a heavier weight linen than what you'd see from an Italian mill, which kind of adds to the drape and wear and what you like, you don't want to, feel so crushed when you get yeah. up and walk out of the house. I mean, I find that, you know, with linen especially, if it's too lightweight, you know, you just feel like it, you're wearing tissue paper, like there's just nothing there. And so even in the summertime, I really find myself enjoying a little bit of body uh, in the actual fabric. So you can see the the hand is a little rougher, but even linen, as you it wear it, right. So what would you recommend? I mean, we have this natural pair. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, maybe a a navy pair of linen trousers? Navy, even like a softer, like Air Force blue, post postal, and baby blue, adds a little bit of color, mm -hmm. much more summer. Navy, you'll get a, the use that you're used to, right? This the everyday wear. And this is what, 12 to 13 ounces. So this is the same weight linen that you made the double-breasted suit for me out of. Same weight, yes. Yeah, it's amazing. You have a yeah, double-breasted we did with uh, dark brown buttons. Beautiful, yeah. slightly more casual but doesn't, doesn't crush completely mm -hmm. when you walk out. So I don't know, I'm kind of torn between these two, the Air Force Blue and then the Navy, the True Navy. Where would you go? I think go a little bit on the edge with the Air Force. Okay. It's still very versatile, mm -hmm. but this, you, this will fill in some of the gaps that you have too, and adds a little bit of color. If you want for more spring, summer, yeah. just the color. Well, it is 100% linen, so that's what we're going for. Okay, so we'll go for this. Uh, and then what else would you recommend, you know, again, you know, thinking of shorts. I mean, of course, we've got all the 100% cottons, you know, which are great. I, um, you've got your book right here. So this is, this is the swatch of all the 100% cottons, right? And I guess I've yeah, got did, this beautiful the, navy. This one here. This one right here, okay. And so, I don't know. I mean, these are two beautiful colors. Uh, but I kind of would like something a little bit different than just 100% cotton. I mean, this has a real nice kind of shiny finish to it. It's beautiful. It's got kind of a little bit of a sheen to it. It's got a shine, right? It does. It's a soft finish for cotton. Okay. Not too lustrous or any mm -hmm. shine to it, but it does have the good finish. This is from Holland and Sherry. Holland Same and one Sherry. that we made through. What else do you have? Show me some. Looking for something other than cotton, something that you can wear casually. Seersucker is a beautiful option. You can make into shorts, you can make a full suit, you can wear separates. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Laura Piana makes a beautiful wool seersucker, which is different. Super 150s in silk. Really? This is wool silk as opposed to 100% cotton? It's a wool seersucker. So you get the drape still and the hand softness. Sometimes even cotton seersucker can feel a little stiff and rigid. Mm -hmm. This one has a luxurious finish and feel to it. You can see the soft kind of luster in the cloth itself. So how do you make these up? I mean, would you do... I mean, would you do shorts out of these? That makes beautiful shorts. Yeah, even full suit mm -hmm. is amazing because you can 
split both the pants and the jacket as separate. It's something that has a lot of versatility to the fabric. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit brighter, a little bit more daring. Yeah, that's probably a little too bright for me. Then the kind of tradition. traditional stripe. Yeah, this is your, you know, Kentucky Derby mm -hmm. flair. Yeah. So maybe we try this and a pair of shorts also. Beautiful. Yeah. What else? Keep on going. It's always fun to look at fabric swatches. I mean, I think it's the hallmark of a great kind of tailor such as yourself is the knowledge of fabrics that's boundless possibilities. Yeah, cotton, cotton is fun to use, but it always crushes. I have like this heavy, heavy from Drapper's. This is for a full suit though. Mm -hmm. This is to keep your, to stay on your casual attire, but have a full suit. So okay. still walk into the office, still look presentable, uh, but not feeling so dressed up. Yep. So you can walk in, sit down, comfortable. And this is a heavy, uh, almost 13 ounce it's from 400 drivers. grams, so that's yeah heavier. But beautiful hang and drape, so this doesn't crush. So you would do like a jacket and trousers. Full suit. Full suit. Full suit. So this fabric, it's plain, mm -hmm. but we can really make three patch pockets, casual, heavy quarter stitching. Mm -hmm. So you can add the details to kind of spruce this up as yeah. an odd piece or as a full suit. Yeah. Still looks dressed. Um, you know, this is a little dark. You know, even this beautiful khaki tan makes it makes it gorgeous. In a suit. Yeah, that's an interesting kind of summer suit. Summer I've suit. I've never really been a huge fan of kind of cotton summer suits, but I've seen them done very beautifully. It makes up beautiful. This is a heavy 13 ounce too, so you don't feel like it's crushed after the first wear. Well, what else do you have? I mean, we're definitely going to do this 100% linen. I think that that uh, navy kind of wool linen or wool silk seersucker is an interesting option for a second pair of trousers or shorts. And this is another gorgeous fabric. It's a uh, Almost half linen, half silk. 59 yeah. linen, 41, 41 silk. Interesting. Very soft to the hand, but doesn't crush and feel. But this one you can walk in, you know, 90 degree yeah. humid Dallas, you know, day and, and not feel the heat. And what would you make out of this? This one I'd make just trousers. Trousers. Trousers alone. Yeah. This one does have a little bit more resort feel mm -hmm. to it, but yeah. beautiful in terms of the feel. I've got a pair of, um, of trousers that you guys made. It was Dorme fabric, very similar to this. That is super lightweight. I mean, it almost waves uh, in a light breeze. Uh, it's so lightweight. Soft. Whenever they add this linen, too much linen can crush, but it, a nice blend of it helps yeah. the fabric kind of breathe. Yeah, I think with linen, you either have to go really heavy or you need to uh, add a little bit of something else, you know, to prevent it from kind of collapsing and, and crushing. And this silk adds the weight, kind of the drape and the durability in this one. Uh, what else? And I have some beautiful um, casual shirting, kind yeah. of to pull the outfits together, like well, your like your David and John yeah. Anderson. Well, that blue shirt. So show, talk me a little bit about the DGA stuff because I feel like this is one of the books that I don't even think you travel with that often. It's like by special request only. And yes, the yes. first time I saw this, I fell in love with all of these fabrics. I mean, it's just next level stuff. You know, it's yes. some of the finest fabric in the, in the world, really. This is your, your blue here. Oh, this, is the, this, is the, uh, this is the blend. Oh. Well, this is cotton, cotton linen blend. Also beautiful. So this is, this is cotton linen. This is cotton okay. linen. This won't crush as much as the linen. And then this is, this is the... 100% linen? 100%. So this is the one I was talking about yeah. right here. 130. So this is the one, no, nope, nope, yeah. it's actually this one right here. This yeah, is the, the color, lighter color, the sky linen. And so this is 130. So linen 130. So describe a little bit about what that means to someone that isn't familiar with kind of the technical Yeah, this details. is how long the staple of the, of the linen is. The longer, the finer the hand. But it, I mean, it almost has the hand of cotton. So like if this is a 130, what would a typical linen shirt, 100% linen shirt that has that kind of larger, you know, yarn? About 80s to 100. Okay. So this is definitely the, the next top level. end of the linen available in the world. Even David and John Anderson's known for producing and sourcing the yeah. best natural fibers for, yeah. the, for the shirting itself. Also along with Carlo Riva, the other book I bought you is mostly cotton and they have a cotton linen blend as well. But this is, I mean, the finest linen you can find, really. This is the finest linen you can find. And so how much has this shirt, it's been so long since I purchased This it. is so five, about four ninety nine. Yeah, which from you guys is, you know, exceptionally reasonable, but you know, from a normal shirt maker, this would be like a $1,000 shirt. This is amazing. I mean, this, this particular color 
is my favorite. The white one's nice. Maybe I add a white one also. Yeah, if you if see this one, you can even get away wearing a tie with it. This color. Yeah. If you don't wear a tie, then this darker blue is gorgeous too. I just love the softness of yeah. that kind of baby blue. Versatility again, incredible on in the blue. I mean, I could go. You know, we're headed to Bastique at the end of uh, May, beginning of June. Uh, for the family and it's like I could probably survive the entire week just on those three shirts. Yeah, this white sometimes shows a little bit, mm -hmm. but I love the blue. Well, let's do one more of these, right? And then let's kind of remeasure kind of the chest just to make sure okay. that we don't get anything opening. You know, to anyone that's interested in a 100% linen shirt, I mean, this right here is like the best kept secret. And then so this, and then I've got this also too. So this is 55% linen, 45% Egyptian cotton, which makes a dressier, shirt. So I have this actually done uh, with a, a collar, not a Cooper collar, which is another kind of characteristic of that, but just a standard kind of yeah. dress collar. Right. In the, in the summertime, I wear this as my dress shirts. Yeah. It's good base fabric, doesn't feel, sometimes with linen, if the, the yarn isn't nice or soft enough, you kind of feel like washing it before mm -hmm. you wear it. This one, right out of the box, it's like already been softened. Yeah, the linen cotton is able to get a little bit of a finer hand because it's more cottony. Now, Dave and John Anderson's known for making, uh, you know, sometimes they'll make this fabric just to say that they can make it, but it is the best of the best. Yep, everything in here I could take. And the other book I've brought uh, is the Carlo Riva fabric, yeah. if you want to take Yeah, show me that. This is also one of the, um, as you could say, best of the best in the world. Carlo Riva is a smaller, very small Italian mill that uses very old traditional shuttle, shuttle looms to okay. weave the fabric. And they still use them because of the traditional uh, way that it creates the looser mm -hmm. uh, tension in the fabrics, which yeah. adds to the comfort. Uh, this is also considered the best of the best in the right. world. So this is a, uh, how do you pronounce that? This is a voil. Voil, I mean this is. Ultra light. Ultra light. This is for comfort. The beach. The, almost like you don't feel like you're wearing a shirt. Mm -hmm. They've known to, make the fabric and acclimate the cloth for up to a year before selling it to their customers. You know, this is like their secret of uh, how they cure the cloth almost to uh, to the Egyptian, where the fabric comes from, Egyptian cotton, wow. Giza 45. So do they have 100% linen also? Is that They have a blend here. This is as comparable to the David and John Anderson. Very soft hand, very, very beautiful colors. I love the teals and just something a little different. This is, you know, away from, you know, price consideration and more for acquiring, uh, you know, the best of the best in the world. So what is it like these, so this is not 100% linen, this is a linen cotton? This is a blend. Blend, and this is a beautiful teal, right? Is this the one you're talking different. about? It's a gorgeous color. This fabric actually is woven in a smaller yardage, so shorter width. Normal fabrics woven almost 60 inches, mm -hmm. this one, on the shuttle looms comes out at around 35. So almost takes close to double the yardage per person. Really? That's also reflective in the price of the shirt. Wow. And would you do something like this with a Cooper collar or would you not do it as a Cooper because you're gonna to have to fuse right here? It would no, probably make, not. can make non-fuse too, uh, but gorgeous as Cooper collar. So you would do it either like in this slightly darker. Slightly darker, gorgeous. Or, I mean, I don't know. Do you think that teal, how would that look on my skin? It's a little more daring. I think this works better for you, but with a little color. Even for Cooper collar, the teal becomes a little bit loud. Mm -hmm. But this, the darker this the blue darker. in the in the Cooper collar looks amazing. Should I do this one as opposed to the DJ? You think? Just give it a shot. I think so. Or do the 100% linen Dave and John Anderson and do the blend oh, here. You're trying to upsell me to both. <laughs> Let's try this first, because I don't know how this is gonna feel. Right, I have a DJ, right, and if. You know, I just find myself wanting another one of those DJAs. Yeah, I think you'll love always have you make it, but this is amazing. So these are some other books here. Uh, good for like just leisure, casual, just different ideas. Some beautiful blends. This is a bit more for everyday use, not your mm -hmm. super fine wearing. Uh, these would make some nice pajamas. Beautiful pajamas. Even just the dress shirt alone, something yeah. you're not wearing a tie, Cooper collar, and some of these you can even still wear a tie with them. And then of course, the, these are more chambray uh, uh, denims. Yeah. Really different casual wear, right? You, sometimes you just wanna wear a shirt alone. Mm-hmm, absolutely. And this is wool, this has got wool in it, yep. 
Uh, this is a brush cotton. Brush cotton, okay, yeah. wow. And so this would be slightly more fall, winter. Yeah, I love these. Yeah, these are really interesting. What do you think of these bold stripes? I've never, I've you know, always the, been intimidated by them. You know, it's a, it's a vintage look that's coming now forward. Okay. And I think it really makes up elegant without, with or without the tie. Yeah, I mean, something like this I probably wouldn't wear with the tie. It's an interesting idea. I love this double one for you. It's a little softer. Not as striking, but has a lot of interest to it. It's also got some, some schlebbing in it. It's yes. got cotton also? This has got a little linen, cotton and linen. Cotton and linen. And you would make that up just as a traditional, like, Cooper? The Cooper collar, yeah. This actually is 100% cotton that they've made with the slubbing in it. To look like linen. To look like linen. Hmm. So it doesn't crush completely, but it's very light cotton, 50 yeah. by one, single ply. Very light cotton, so cool. The idea is to remain cool. You want yeah. to wear something and, and not feel, you know, you want it to breathe. Yeah. You want the air to go through, so you don't feel hot. Yeah, okay, well, let's make that up too. That's really interesting. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, that's kind of will be nice. I mean, definitely kind of a weekend slash more casual item. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. So we've got a few additional things that we're gonna put in. We're gonna do this Carlo Riva, 100%, I guess, linen. It's a blend. Shirt, the blend, um, uh, with Cooper collar, yeah. which of course is kind of my favorite construction for anything that's casual. And we're gonna do this shirt right here in that kind of uh, double stripe, yes. right? And then uh, two additional pair of- Seersucker um, trousers. Trouser shorts, the Seersucker. And the W Bill. The W Bill, 100% um, so linen in blue. that kind of Air Force blue. Well, I'm ready for summer. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. So, Davidge. Thank you. Hey, you know, best of luck with Davidge Bespoke. Yes. And uh, your website's now up, yes. davidge.com, yes. which is an amazing domain. You got lucky there. Yes. Uh, and then you've got your Instagram, of course, also, which is Davidge Bespoke. Yes, right? D I V I J. D I V I J. Great. So, there we go, Davidge Hammer Johnny. It's so great to have him back in the office and to see him uh, and to be able to really kind of continue building my wardrobe uh, with a now Davidge Bespoke. Uh, I've been working with he and his father uh, for well over uh, 10 years now. I mean, uh, really, he was my primary shirt maker until I kind of uh, fell in love with Charvet, you know, my little Parisian indulgence. Most of my tailoring is almost exclusively Hammer Johnny because it's just hard to argue with the value and the price point. For around $2,000, you're getting a fully bespoke handmade garment. Uh, and as you're building a wardrobe and really looking to expand it, I mean, that value proposition right there is really compelling. You've all seen my summer kind of tailored uh, wardrobe, uh, but this next kind of evolution or phase is really going deep into the casualness of uh, summer with shorts, uh, shirts that you're really just going to wear with those shorts. And I couldn't be more excited about the pieces that we chose today. Of course, to find more information about Davidge, uh, davidge.com, Davidge Bespoke on Instagram. Uh, and of course, if you're watching this channel for the first time, make sure you uh, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my unboxing video where I unboxed a lot of these kind of uh, spring, summer seasonals like this jacket uh, and these trousers uh, that Davidge recently made for me. Now, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.